So, Adam, we need to come up with a cold opener. Do we? Are you ready? Gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time for As the Buckle Turns. I'm Adam. I'm Tim. And this week, we have a great, awesome freaking show for you. Uh, you. You know, something that actually happens when we actually take a week off. I mean, it's usually because we're trying to catch up on the previous week. <laughs> I know. And I don't really... I, last week, I kind of stopped paying attention for a moment. I'm sorry. Nothing really broke, so it actually worked out in our favor. Uh, uh, no, I, I gotta do say one thing uh, about now last week's AEW on Friday night. Yep. Uh, a lot of people are giving it, sh- giving them shit for having terrible ratings during Friday night, I know. and it's you know because clearly SmackDown it's on a different channel at a, at the ten o'clock time. Yep, it's not lined up with the SmackDown at all. What it is is because it's competing against all of the other sports stuff that's going on that night on other channels. Well, I mean, just that <laughs> it's just the audience isn't hasn't. For Dynamite hasn't found it. No, but um, I do have to say, uh, last week it was what five fifty something. It's been going up since. And uh, NXT, which is on Tuesday, mm-hmm. uh, is at six fifty. So I mean, it's not a unreasonable number. It's not a bad number. It's just uh, it was a bad timing because they got kicked off of their normal night for the playoffs right after coming off of an awesome pay per view. Exactly. So and the no, number, but and the this pl- week is on Saturday. That's true. Uh, the 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 best part of this though is it truly is testing out their uh, Friday Night Rampage yeah. show it's, and looking at if they're able to draw five fifty right now, mm-hmm. that's not bad for a new one hour show. Yeah, and because Dynamite is two hours still on Friday night, right? And I mean, honestly, the death knell really is the eleven to twelve o'clock hour because uh, basically around that time, people are gearing, if they're not they're are they turning off the TV. Or they're gearing up for the late night shows. Exactly. Really. I, no offense to to uh, AEW or anything like that. You're. It's just a weird, like the ten to eleven hour. Your rampage is probably going to do five hundred, maybe six hundred. Yep. Uh, at at its, you know, once it reaches its, you know, marathon, its stride. Yeah. Um, it's that eleven to 12, 12 o'clock hour that people are going to bed. Yeah. You know, it's no offense to your program. You could have any people fall asleep. Okay. Uh, also, people are going out. Yes. The audience. Also, it's talking. Friday night. People yeah, are going, going out, out. Yeah. on those nights. Yeah. So, it moving to TBS next year, and they won't have to worry about moving on Wednesday night. Yeah. So, yeah, good for that. All right. So we have some big news we got to talk about here tonight. Exactly. So, what was the first thing on the docket, Adam? Uh, it turns out, my friend that a championship run has been completely planned out, even though it seems like they're pushing to move the belt off from the current champion. Yes. Uh, so today uh, it was broken down that it was revealed that Kenny Omega, AEW World Champion, Impact World Champion, it's TNT, TNA World TNA. Champion. Uh, yeah, um, TNA. Triple A. The Impact Heavyweight Championship and uh, the... Impact uh, World Championship. And the oh, it's the Impact World Championship. Yeah. Then it's the TNA Heavyweight I Championship, so. and then the uh, AAA and the Mega. Triple Mega Championship. Yeah, um, champion. Uh, before Kenny ever won the title, the it was which called, title though? The Impact World Championship. The Impact the, TNA belts. Yeah, those two belts. Uh, it was planned out from the start when he was going to pick it up, and who he will dr- eventually drop the belt to. Oh my God. Uh, the night that they that he's dropping it, they should introduce the new unified belt. Yeah, uh, and that's and that's how you do it. First of all, you're putting over a, a new kid, uh, uh, somebody. Uh, looks like it's probably, I mean, shaping up to be Sammy Callahan. No, I don't think it is. Uh, which I have no problem with anyway. Yeah, but I don't think uh, it's going to be. Oh, by the way, congratulations to Sammy Callahan uh, for, on getting engaged. Yes. Congratulations, bro. I can't uh, remember his... I like the idea of also, at that time, unifying those two belts yeah. and, you know, moving forward with the impact storylines that they want to tell. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't think it's going to be Sal- Sammy Callahan because that's what I thought when I saw the article because the article was a little bit clickbaity on Wrestling Inc. Of course. Um, what? That, they did a clickbait article? I know. Title. No. Because um, so, it made it sound like they were going to move it off from him now when the whole article is simply about, no, they plan this out so they know when Kenny will drop the belt. They know who they want to put over in it. Yep. And all that. It, yes, Sammy Callahan could be the one they put over. Maybe. Because he's the one um, who's the next challenger. I don't think it, it's... I think it's too soon. I, I would like somebody out of the blue type of put over. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could build, you're building them up, but like when they win it, yeah, it's like, like oh, yeah, this guy's oh. clearly not going to be the one who wins it. Oh, he won it. Okay. You know, one of those times that it's like uh, someone who's been around, but they're still like considered too early for them to be taking a championship run yep. and they get the unification championship run. Yep. You're like, all right, you know, you're the new champion. You're the new guy. And here's a new belt. Yeah. Um, so it'd be interesting what they do with that um, from there, especially when they, all the new names are coming in. I mean, it's not gonna be the new name. Braun Strowman the, shows yeah, up. <laughs> Braun Strowman shows up um, because he's just called, he's just called country strong. Mm-hmm. Actually, Country Strong Adam would not be bad. <laughs> Adam Country Strong. <laughs> yeah. Adam Country Country Strong. Adam Big Country Strong. Adam Strong is his name. <laughs> yeah. That would be interesting. I like it. Uh, because it won't be in the new names that they're, that they, the people they sign from the release talent. Yep. Because they plan this out before the, the Raven releases. Oh, of course. So, but... Um, it could be someone, but it's interesting to see that they've already planned this all the way out. Like, they know who Kenny will put over. That's all great. That. Um, AWE, I, pay attention. Long-term storytelling. Wow. Can you imagine if it's Adam Page, though? <laughs> yeah, he wins that one instead of the AEW World Championship. Exactly. <laughs> um, which Immediately has- challenges for the AEW Championship. And loses. <laughs> and loses it. And he's like, oh, seriously, guys? He wins the Impact World title, but then he loses... Not defending it to Kenny, but he no. loses his challenge for the AEW World Title. Yeah. Oh, come on. I don't want this piece of crap. Uh, <laughs> no. All right. That's the way you ruin, you lose partnerships by saying It like becomes that. the Dark Order Championship. <laughs> all right, Adam, what's next on the docket? Uh, turns out AEW is in the red, <gasps> red, 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 red. So their new color scheme is echo, red? Echo, echo, echo. Burning bush, burning. <laughs> wow, that's an old reference. That's like oh, almost like three years old. I know. You know no, you, it's even longer than that. It's like four years old. Yeah, probably. Um, Go anyway. check out the old podcast, uh, Writer's Mindscape. No, that's not. That podcast is on the channel. This channel. I know it's on this channel. But you not, said Writer's not, Mindscape. No, I, I said the podcast on this channel. The playlist. Sure, it's there. I doubt you said that correctly. Anyway, I don't know. Um, I'm telling them now. Also, yeah. like and subscribe. Do it. Do it. Comment. Stuff like that. Um, anyway, uh, but yeah, according to um, an article in Forbes magazine uh, that did a really great piece overall on AEW, uh, we got a little spoiler of what big show. I mean, not BS, no longer BS. Paul White. Um, Paul White. Ring gear will look like on there. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and all that, but there's a great article, and one of the articles, part of it was that AEW is not in the black. It's not a profitable com- um, company. It's an entertainment thing. It's. it's it, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, well, so we got WWE at- ran for years, technically in the red the entire time. Uh, WCW did it for years. I mean, yes, they collapsed under their own ballooning staff at one point because mo- that was just because of the had so many deals that they couldn't afford yeah when they started losing popularity yeah they were just um, trying to get anybody to come in uh and they were paying people an exorbitant amounts but no the thing is the so here it is uh because the reason why everyone's a big deal of this is because of all the expansion last year when um dynamite got its contract extended another yes um Further, the inception of what would become Rampage was added as part of the deal. Mm-hmm. And then Tony Khan mentioning how he just recently renegotiated their contract to move um, Rampage and 
um, Dynamite to, to TBS next year. Yes. All that and keep that and doing the specials on T and T, um, once a quarter. Once a quarter. Uh, all yeah. that. So how they are not going to be how they weren't in the red and Tony Khan is that no, the wrestling portion of AEW is profitable. They are making money off that. Yes. It's just the fact that their video game portion, which is there, it seems like it's a separate company in a sense. I, it's and, AEW Games. Yeah, it's part of the the company. Yeah, but it's they see it as two almost two separate companies. Well, because well, I mean, you, know, you look at it as an overall. You have two products that you're creating. Yeah. So you have two teams. You have Team A, which is doing the wrestling product in the TV. Yep. And you have Team B working on the video game and all of their other gaming stuff. Yep. I mean, you that is one of those like that's a project that you put money into, expecting some kind of return later on. Yes. So that's it will it will show up as a red until the games are actually sold and people start spending money on it. So basically, what it comes down to is like, yes, AEW as a wrestling company is profitable. Yes, but because of a um a seven figure, um no an eight figure do- um investment into video gaming, is why overall AEW as a full company is in the red. Yes, and we now know how much that investment is. It was twenty million dollars investment into the um video gaming. Uh- Twenty million to start uh, to start off isn't bad. No, um, and it see, and when he was talking about it, it was like we're actually expecting to see a good return um, on that investment next year, hinting at the idea that there's a potentially the console game could be coming out at some point in 2022. Now, we're in no way saying this is when it's coming out, but that's how Tony Khan kind of hinted at. So. And we've actually finally got to see the uh, first um, model render of Darby Allen for the console game, which, which actually looks pretty good. Didn't look bad at all. No. Uh, in fact, I I mean, I prefer more sim than arcade, yeah. but this is clearly riding the line of arcade visual, but a sim nonetheless, but plays more simmy than I that. I mean, also, here's the thing, though. If you're only investing $20 million in like I'm assuming that's twenty million dollars into the overall games period. Um, you're not gonna get um, the graphic capability, um, le- um, not capabilities, the graphic style of realism for uh, ten million, fifteen million, depending on how much it like, costs to develop the mobile games uh, for general manager mode, uh, general manager, and casino. Take that money away from this twenty million investment. That's what you got left. You're not going to get this um, God of War uh, uh, Assassin's Creed level graphics from that kind of investment. Those are AAA games that have 150 million, 100 million, 150 million, sometimes even more, $200 million in invest to make that game. So you're not going to get those level of graphics with that. In future games, we could, well, I can definitely see having far better graphics. But for the first game, they're going with a decent, a good art style, so they can still get everything they want in it, and not do what TNA did, where they had a story mode, a few matches, and nothing else to keep your interest after you beat the storyline. I am trying desperately to find the production cost of 2K20. And it won't give it to me. Uh, trying to find uh, production costs for video games is very hard to find. Uh, I know. For certain ones. Uh, I would probably take a wild guess. It's probably close to about um, 50 to $60 million, um, for it. But that's just me taking a guess based on the visuals and what you get from it. And it also just being... Honestly, I think it could actually just be, it could actually be closer to thirty million because all they really do is just they're updating the game. So the amount of money it costs to just update a game and how crappily they update the game each year is not that much. It probably shouldn't cost that much. If it does, wow, they're getting ripped off. But 
uh, trying that, desperately to still find yeah, he's it. He's definitely he's still he's on the computer. Um, clearly, Adam has realized there is a special device that he can look this information up on these days. If only there was some kind of magical device <laughs> that I could easily find these. Yeah, you know, uh, I I am actually ticked off at the fact that I can't figure out how much that is. Um, we'll keep looking. Maybe next week's episode, if we figure it out, we'll talk it up. But it is interesting okay. going back to the whole point of the story. Like, yes, AEW's in the red, but it's because they're advancing into other elements. I mean, to having a a profitable wrestling company after two years of in exactly business and getting and developing a video game, which most companies, um, wrestling companies, don't get for years after that they even get one. Because most of them don't. Is awesome, which also kind of hints at this one thing, Adam. Yes. That this investment in gaming, this is not um, a um, a developer doing a wrestling game for them. They are doing it. They are paying directly out of it. They didn't sell the rights to a to a studio to make this game. Yeah. They are paying to make these games. Which actually is a smarter move. It gives them far more control over everything. <laughs> you are desperate to find <laughs> the, any the, game at this point. Yeah, really. Um, so any sports game at the moment, <laughs> Adam's going well on. But we're gonna move on to the next big piece of news, Adam. Which is what that? Uh, why you gotta drag me away from there? Yes. A a breakup slash call up. Uh, nope, that's a different one. That's what you wanted as three? No, I wanted as something else. I wanted the, uh... Let me see. That's literally what you made me change it to. Oh, that's right. We already talked about AEW was the one I changed. I thought it was something else. I thought we did that number three. Never mind. Yeah. Right. So the breakup, yes. Thanks. Um, we have Karrion Cross, um, and Scarlett Bardock. Uh, I'm sorry, Bardock? Up. Yeah. Scarlet. It's Bordeaux. Scarlet Bordeaux. Wow. Oh, you got that wrong. And no, it is pronounced Bordeaux. Come on. No, it's also pronounced Scarlet, not Scarlet. No, it's Scarlet. I'm no, sorry. No, there it, can be only one Scarlet. And who's that? Scarlet Johansson. Okay, we we'll are agree on that. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, so it looks like there's a potential call-out for Kieran Cross to the main roster. He had a tryout match last uh Friday on SmackDown, and then, as well as Bronson Reed, um, NXT's North American champion, and Karrion Cross is the NXT champion. Um, both had proud matches. They were brought back to Raw this week to do a match for um, main event. Ooh. But here's the thing. Scarlett Bardo um, was not there as coming out to the ring with him. So it's looking at like that he if he gets called up, he may be coming up as on his own. But here's another twist, because this is Thursday when we record tomorrow night on SmackDown. Apparently she's getting a tryout main roster call up. Huh. Um, for uh, for that as well as a separate star. Um, so who knows what will happen here? If these two, uh, if Scarlett, um, Karen Cross, and Bronson Reed all get called up. Hopefully they'll be smart and wait for the draft that's coming at the end of August to call them up because it will also give Triple H plenty of time to let um, both of them drop the belts they own uh, and not be rushing it. You know, to have when fans come back, no, save these guys for the the draft. This would be a good call, a good surprise for the draft. Yeah. Um, but it'll be interesting to see. But here's another question for you, Adam. What? Since when has NXT stars had to have a tryout match for the main roster? It doesn't that, make sense. That's the whole point of NXT. I know. Um, as much as everyone else likes to say, NXT is the third brand. No, it's not. No, it's, it's when still you, when viewed as a development. It, when you're referring to it as a call-up, it's not considered a third brand. Third brand would be an official brand of WWE. It would be a trade. Yes, it would be a trade. It'd be part of WWE. It would not be called call up to the main roster. Yeah, it's still seen as developmental by WWE. I would like I, I like the idea of what it's supposed to be, and that it's the indies. Yeah, you know, it's WWE's version of the indies. No, it's not. And if it was treated that way, 
and used that way. It's not WWE's version of the Indies. You know why? Why? Because WWE doesn't acknowledge the Indies. I know. It's, it's Triple H version of the Indies. I know. <laughs> so you got you, you to gotta clarify. Because if you say WWE, it seems like Vince McMahon, this is Vince McMahon's idea of the Indies. He has no clue what the Indies are. If you want to say, oh, they just go on the Indies. Huh? It's like the Territory Days. No, yeah. I got I bought all the Indi- the, the territories. Yeah, you didn't buy all the comp- the smaller companies that have popped up since then. There's no other companies that popped up. Nobody else would pop up ever again. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, it happens all the time. I could see, one of these days I could see Vince in his old age tell the, the WWE lawyers to go through every single um, company out there saying he bought the, the territorial rights for those things so that they can't operate there. <laughs> and just oh. watch him go like... No, no, no. Even better is because he owns the patent for wrestling. Yeah. And you're like, no, sir, you, oh, he's already dead. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll be interesting to see if this call up is it together or separate. What happens? I, I don't know. Yeah. What's next on the docket, Adam? Uh, Joe Samoa is back with NXT. Uh, yes. Yeah, good for you, but why? Yeah, I mean,. This, there goes our whole Mero and Samoa Joe plan for AEW. I mean, Samoa Joe going back to Impact and running rampant for a while. Going to AEW and having that feud of a lifetime with Miro. Yeah, going I mean, to New Japan and wrecking house over there. Yeah, uh, oh man. I mean, good for him. Clearly there was something, he was offered something enough to come back. Yeah. Um, because we do know that Triple H was furious to find out that they released him. Oh, I mean, he probably had a plan for him. Well, no, it's because um, he saw the reports are that he was furious because how he brought him into WWE, signing him, letting him work the indies, and when he needed him, keeping his name, yep, building him up, he being such a huge fan of his work, and then just to waste him on the main roster and then just get rid of him. I I actually didn't mind him being an announcer either. I like. I mean, he can talk. He was that. Yes. If he's not clear to wrestle. That's a perfect place to put him. Like CM Punk. Yes. When he um he got injured, uh before the whole summer of Punk and storylines, all that, using him as an uh on commentary was a great thing. Actually, now if you if you go and talk, you listen to him, he's like, he didn't want to be there because he thought as of time to he could recuperate. Oh yeah. Some time off, but. It was a great place to keep they him. They still reverent. needed to use him. Yeah, uh, I, you, dude. Quick look around the room. Make sure that all of the microphones in here are on. You guys are on, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> CM Punk and Excalibur, AEW's main ro- uh, main show, Dynamite mm-hmm. commentary team. I, w- I like it. I love the idea. Get rid of um um the big guy in the hat because he can't remember what he's talking about. I'm sorry. Or, I love you, Jr. But yeah. but you've hit the age where we you can't do it anymore. You, you just don't got it. You're losing tra- your own train of thought. Like it, what he did uh, uh, for Double or Nothing, where you literally watch him lose his train of thought and just sit there, and everyone just try to figure out like well, I don't know what he was trying to go with that. Um, it was. Hard, it, yeah. Um, also, the fact that he doesn't he if he doesn't like something, he won't put it over. I, and I'm willing to bet that's just an age thing. It's possible, but I'm sorry. That you, no, actually, he used to do that too. Back in the back in the Attitude Era, if he wasn't behind it, he gave it so little life. Nah, not really. Um. He put things over you could tell he didn't like. Um, but now it just seems like he does. Like, if he doesn't get it or doesn't think that's how wrestling should go, he just kind of doesn't put it over. Yeah. I mean, the guy's saying the best in the world is Randy Orton. Yeah, that's great if that's your personal pe- opinion. Yeah. But when you're talking from a different different company, and you're not putting your own guy over. Yeah. Um, at least putting him in the thing. Uh, in there, like they're saying, the two by two top guys in the world are Kenny Omega and Randy Orton. At least you're not bearing your own top guy, Penta, or you know anybody from AEW. But Cody, yeah. no, I'm just kidding. So, but yeah. <laughs> love you, Cody. Don't kill me. But Jr. <laughs> when your contract's up, move to the background. Yeah, um, because Let's work in the back. Talent scouting. Yeah, uh, he won't want to travel. I know, um, but he can receive uh, tapes at home. 
be be the guy, be the behind the scenes guy who runs broadcast. Yeah. People who come in to do stuff, you run that. That could be a great thing. Um, but yeah. All right, what's next on the docket? Ah, we've got Alexa Bliss responding to critics. People saying that she is just stealing the uh, fiend uh, gimmick. Uh, being the worst thing on Raw, people constantly refer to. I, I do speaking. have to say, though, uh, this usage this week on Raw was, first of all, cool and then terrible. <laughs> because it, I have, I've never had a problem with spooky yep. and just weird and, and supernatural. Like the whole, you know, bleeding out the mouth and goop gunk. Okay, that was pushing the limits. Yep. Zombies went too far. <laughs> Zombie. Good to know that zombies could go too far for you. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, because that means you either have to ignore what happened to the Miz when he comes back or the Miz is a zombie when he comes back. He's already come back. He's just in a wheelchair. So you ha- are, you're ignoring that a bunch of zombies, flesh eating creatures, yep. ate him. Yeah. All right. Uh, but and, oh, Alexa, oh, oh, oh yeah. the guy who won that matchup, yeah, hasn't been on TV since. Okay, that makes it even better. <laughs> He's the real loss. It should have been the other way around. Yes, Miz should have still been out. But anyway, uh, uh, apparently, um, he's had some other. Uh, things non-wrestling that he was the reason why they're, they're keeping it like he's been oh no TV. i i know but he but, shouldn't have been on tv at all no no, no i'm talking about for um damian cross oh uh, he's mean, been off tv because of damian priest damian priest he's been off because he had some non-wrestling ge- engagements that he had to yeah handle um but and, so like awesome it, alexa bliss you're having a wonderful fun time with yes. with the, the turn the, of your character that's the whole thing like she her response is really it's sister abigail let, we can all tell she's busy say she's saying like say what you want but i'm having fun and you could you the second she started doing the stuff with bray and all that you could tell she was having fun a new a completely different direction for her character yes completely um yes are people mad that the fiend has just been removed what, from TV what are we because, doing with Bray by the way uh, just just what are we doing with him no one knows okay um, and people are wanting to blame her for it she doesn't make the final she, decisions that, that's creative she doesn't make the decisions one man makes those decisions yes and his name is Vince <sighs> um, yes I think it was a mistake to remove break them up so quickly and have him cost Rain, uh, let Randy win another match over the Fiend yeah um, and WrestleMania and, and that quickly off uh, from one RKO after a distraction. Yep. Um, and then this removing him from TV period and then let's do the whole spiel. Yes, but you know what? She's having fun. Yes, good for her. Let her. She's having fun, and I'm glad she's having fun. My, t- so, you know so what my two cross. par my you know what my two far is though with her. What? Uh, the fact that she controlled. Um, shit. Who is Nia? she? Yeah, Nia Jax to beat somebody up. B. Oh, oh yeah, Reginald. Yeah, and I was just like, okay, that's too far. Just yeah. no, just well, that's, too that's, much. That's, that's a lot of things people have been having an issue with is doing. Lily, her doll, is appearing doing the Ultimate Warrior in the mirror to Hogan. Yeah, <laughs> they did that with Shayna Baszler. Yeah, um, at one point. Uh, stuff like that. I don't know why people don't like it. And then, like, yeah, you, we may not like that stuff, like how it's being produced or how goofy, but you can tell she's having fun. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. is good for her. She's, at least she's enjoying it. See, I like the, you know, if you're going to go go with Supernatural, mm-hmm. go on the horror end of it. Oh, yeah. You know, not people taking over and controlling other people. No. You know, that has always come across as hokey, no yeah. matter how you do it. The only time you can do controlling other people, it's m- not mind control, it's brainwashing. Yes. That's that, how you do it. That you, people can believe that in wrestling. Yeah. Is that, because oh, Bray he's Wyatt been brainwashed. Bray he's Wyatt been, did that yeah. already. <laughs> so, you know, m- the other way is the unstoppable creature. Well, yeah. That was the... They were building up the fiend to until Hell in a Cell. Yeah. And then Goldberg. And then... And then... Randy Orton. And Randy Orton again. And uh, then Randy Orton. And again. And then disappeared. Yeah. But... But, like, if, if Alexa was just like, I can no-sell. Just... I will no-sell everything. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, again, also Nikki Cross is having a blast with her new mm. superhero character. Which, Heck by the yeah. way, she came up with. Not Vince, who loves that gimmick. That's kinda, awesome. She came up with that. Good her. for her. So, yes. All right, what's next in the docket? Uh, is it that Joey Janela story? Yes. Man, okay. He'd be trolling, trolling, trolling. What? I, Tro- I guess. Trolling, trolling, trolling. I lost Get a there. lot. I lost all respect for Joey Janela. Did you? Yes. I mean, because he, of his trolling, trolling, because trolling. He, what? Went to a Seminole County school board meeting and trolled a doctor about anti-masking. I can't believe he's buying into this anti-masking bullshit stuff. No, no, he was trolling. Trolling. Yeah, he was trolling a doctor because he wants the the mask thing to go away. No. What? No, it's the other way around. Wait, he was trolling himself? God damn, you really... Come on. I got to go back to the internet. <laughs> I'm just making it harder for you. I hate you sometimes. <laughs> yeah. That's my job. That's what my the, the napkin contract That's says. That's why you love me. <laughs> That's what the napkin contract says. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, look. he's Yeah, see, he's next to that disgraced referee from NXT who said mask is allowing for... Um, uh, Sexual, uh, um, sex trade to happen. Y- yes, yes. That, so he's part of it, right? <laughs> As he's just reading the article. <laughs> yeah, see, that's his tweet right there. It's clearly states, um, it all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't. I'm not gonna hold this up anymore. Yeah, I, he was trolling the people, trolling the ma- uh, the anti-maskers. That's yeah. who he's going to troll. Um, he's actually um auctioning off the the skies he wore, um, for it, and it was just hilarious. Um, but when I saw that article originally, I did not see any. I'm willing to bet that that WWE ref had no idea. Oh, I bet he didn't because he probably bought. He's into probably. It pissed off right yeah. now oh i guarantee you he there's no way he bought realized what was going on <laughs> um but yeah so i mean i read the article and i it's written in the the wrestling inc article that it was a troll on the anti-maskers i didn't see it because it, it i kind of probably this started zooming uh zoning out so this morning when i woke up i saw him so, talking about that and how he was trolling them I'm like, wait he wasn't okay oh no no he was just he uh, just there to be a complete idiot, yeah, and just be like, yeah. Well, yeah, but uh, it's like, which made to me when I read the article, I'm like, this is not seem like the Joe Janela that I've read about and stuff with the things like. Except the for the fact that his in, his entire character has well, been no, trolling. The trolling, but like the type of car- person. Oh yeah, he is. being an anti-masker and yeah, all of that he, stuff. Yeah, I did not w- w- take that to be that kind of person. So I was like, I lost all respect for him. Only to find out, no, he was doing that. Like, oh, it's the other way oh, around. I'm like. Oh, that's oh. more in line with the Trojan that I have come okay. to familiar with. So I was like, super relieved. I was just like, for a while there, I'm like, I lost. I t- sent you the, the article. I've lost all respect for Joey Janela. <laughs> I was yes. like, so glad that's there. So, by the way, Joey, awesome, great, good job. <laughs> <I really laughs> Unless want- it turns out that it was actually all serious, and that rant, that anti-mask rant that you went on was actually serious and in that case god damn it you yeah. you trolled us you're trolling you're trolling the trollers the trolls and, and i hate it man yeah. Stop multi-tiered it. trolling <laughs> multi-level <laughs> marketing yeah. horrible your right. trolling is trolling our trolling that's trolling another troll when will it stop yeah. all right what's the next in the document and the last little bit is the most expensive replica belt Ever. Wait, New Japan is actually selling a replica of that che- that ugly looking World Heavyweight Championship belt they have? No. Oh. No. No. And, and, we've already and, talked about that belt. It's actually not that bad. It grows not, on it, you. It's growing on it you. It grows on you. Uh, and no, it's not the Fiend belt because that's <laughs> actually not a replica belt. It's just a it's just a belt. Yeah. Which is weird. Which was what? Like $1,300 at one point? Oh, that one. Yeah, because it was like. Um, Special limited edition ones, and yeah. something like that. Yeah, it's like okay, those don't count. This no. is, this has to be a replica belt of yeah. one that's go that's on 
per, it's in the in it's the show. Constant production. Yeah. In production. Which is the AEW World Championship belt. Uh <laughs> seven hundred dollars. So there was a little bit of a, a, a little mix up last week when they hinted at this coming and everyone jumped to the trio championships or the AEW women's tag team championships and then when they announced it they immediately deleted the the, the one that was hanging at that to reveal it. no hey guys it's just the replica um, just the replica belt uh, stop, stop doing- hyping yourselves <laughs> up um but actually we felt about the right time um since uh to the TNT championship came about a year ago around yeah if you're going to introduce a new belt our championship. This would be a. This is a good event. time of the year to would, introduce would've it. Would have been bad. So, uh, and there's been rumblings behind the scenes. Um, Coney's mention of introducing it, and more hinting at the trios than anything else. Yes. Um, I want the women's tag titles before then, uh, honestly. But do you, uh, the we'll, trios belt looks like it's going to happen? Probably. Now, if they make it uh, uh, open gender belt. That would be cool. Now I'm okay with that. Then we're okay. We can build up the women's tag title to the tag titles there. Um, but yeah, who knows? But yeah, this replica, damn. Yeah, um, damn. If I had seven hundred dollars that I could blow, I probably still wouldn't buy this. I'd probably <laughs> some some technology out there. I'd probably do. Um, so, but yeah. All right. Yeah, that's all, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's multi-tiered. Multi tier. It, it's got, it, unlike WWE re- replicas at four hundred dollars and above, yeah. which is one which plate. is just a plate. Yep. This is multi tiered. It's like the actual championship, which is why it costs so much. And that's a lot of leather too. I'll be yeah. honest. Um. So, but yeah. So that's where we're, we're done. That's all we got, ladies and gentlemen. Comment down below what you thought of the news. What do you think of Joy Janela's trolling the trolls, anti-masker trolls, troll? Uh, trolling? Trolling. He keeps trolling, troll. trolling, trolling, trolling. Um, <laughs> trolling, trolling, trolling. What do you, what? Thi- what do you think of AEW being in the red because of their investment in video gaming? Comment down below and answer those questions. Tell us what you think about that. Uh, since you made the end of this, your, of this how long of that podcast? Oh, 30 some odd minutes of it. 30 some odd minutes of it. Uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. You know you want to. You lo- got to the end of this podcast. You dealt with listening to us talk about wrestling and going on tangents. Just give us a thumbs up. Smash that like button. And so you don't have to go and find other Zop Gaming content as well as the awesome As the Buckle Turn con- Turns content. Just hit that subscribe button. Ding. Ring that bell. Ding, ding. Uh, make sure you're the one that turns on all notifications. Yes. So you know when all, as the buckle turns, and not newer content goes live. All Bye. of the 